Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Ewan Webster, the CEO of Thesis Gold. How are you doing today, Ewan? Rich, yeah, really good. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Very excited to learn more about your company and introduce it to our community. Maybe we can start off by you telling us a little bit about your previous success in the mining industry. Sure. Uh, I mean, I guess uh, I... <clears throat> I did a PhD and, and um, after wrapping that up, I went on to work as a consultant for a few years in, in North and South America. And then I joined the Meadows Group of Companies, uh, headed up by John Williamson, who's the chairman, and uh, fortunate enough to be involved in Benchmark Meadows. And that's where I spent a lot of my time. Uh, and we really, you know, a few years ago, we took that from a relatively early stage uh, project and this year, we just put out a three million ounce made in resource estimate on the project. Uh, fortunate enough as well, that's the project just to the south of Thesis Gulch Ranch project. So it's uh, pretty convenient and uh, I'm always pretty tuned into what's going on in the Tudagon now. Very good. And can you give us a quick overview of the Thesis Gold project and your ranch gold copper project in British Columbia? Sure. I mean... Thesis, we really built a company around the ranch project. Um, and we began trading last year, just in early November on the Venture Exchange. Um, concurrent with that, we raised about $6 million at 50 cents. And then in June of this year, at almost triple that value at $1.50, we raised another $18 million. Wow. So very strong cash position going into this year's maiden drill program. Um, we have a very sh uh, tight share structure as well. There's only 45 million shares outstanding. Great. Strong management position within that, about 25% of it. And then we have a lot of institutional support. I mean, uh, a lot of the same shareholders that Benchmark does, they were familiar with me, they're familiar with the, the project that we wanted to embark on. So they came in to support this endeavor at a little earlier stage. So a bit of a unique position for uh, a junior exploration company to be in. Um, and the ranch project itself is in north central British Columbia. It's about 450 kilometers northwest of Prince George. Uh, it's in the historic Tudagon mining district. And like a lot of the projects in that area, it saw quite a lot of work in the 70s and 80s, uh, probably about 35,000 meters of drilling, some fantastic historical results, um, 30 grams over 25 meters, uh, and, and many more like that as well. So. Uh, but I guess in the early 90s, that part of the world, and in fact, I guess gold prices in general were, they were declining. So really everybody pulled out of that area. And then it just, the project itself sat dormant, really. It was picked up by the vendor and they held on to it essentially for the next 20, 25 years, doing small projects, but really um, not advancing it. Um, but they, what they did do is put together a fantastic land position. So it's 180 square kilometers. So a significant land position. Um, there's 20 known gold um, showings on the project. Only six of these were ever drilled though. So a lot of untested targets. We've developed a lot ourselves as well um, that we'll be testing this year. Now your drill results, your assays were incredible. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Yeah, I mean, Pretty fantastic results for the first three holes. We couldn't be happier at Thesis anyway. Um, the, the drill program, I guess, is a, is a phased program. I mean, those, the first three holes that we put out are part of what we say is phase one. So it's really confirmation drilling right at the heart of these historic zones. And this part, these particular holes are from the Bonanza zone, which probably saw the lion's share of the historic drilling, but sadly we don't have any of the historic core. So we have to do this drilling um, very systematically on kind of 15, 20 meter centers to be able to use those fantastic historical results in a future resource. What that's also doing is um, giving us a great understanding of the geology, the mineralization, the alteration. And with that knowledge, we can then embark on phase two, which is expansion and exploration of those known zones. Um, and then phase three, and probably most importantly, and most exciting for me, is certainly is the exploration part of it. So that's probably about 10,000 meters of the 20,000 meter plan program. Um, right now, we're, we're just past 7,000 meters at the moment. 
Uh, and those first three results, uh, as I said, are from the Bonanza Zone. So 34 meters of just under 20 grams gold and the first hole, uh, and then third hole, 25 meters of just under 10 grams. So incredible numbers. I think we can expect some more strong results from those, the Bonanza Zone. But that's just one of the many zones on the property that we're drilling this year. And probably the most exciting part of it, as I said, is really the exploration because there, there's so many targets that have never been drilled. We've generated a number of targets ourselves that share all of the same characteristics as those known zones of mineralization. So geochemistry, geophysics, uh, all of the same characteristics and um, our exploration drilling um, and that phase three component certainly seems to be going pretty well so far. Now you have three more drill rigs, which you touched on. What do rough timelines look like until we can get more results? So I think as everybody knows, the labs are pretty backed up this year. Um, turnaround times are kind of in the 10 weeks, eight to 10 weeks range. But we've been sending, I mean, we started the program in early August and we have drilled about 60 holes so far, probably 45 of those are at the lab. And so we should be getting more results in, in the next couple of weeks. And then once that steady stream of results um, or start coming into us and we can process them, I think we'll be getting news out to our shareholders every seven to 10 days. So it should be pretty consistent news flow right through until probably February next year. Um, the plan right now is to, that we should wrap up that program by about the end of October. Wow. What are the next steps for the property and what would it take to get into production or maybe even a buyout? I guess, uh, I guess that's looking forward to a little ways, maybe. But uh, I guess the the key thing right now, complementing this drill program, is a pretty extensive exploration program. We're doing a lot of airborne and ground geophysics. We're doing a lot of um, geochemistry, soil soil sampling, rock sampling, um, because ninety five percent of the project has really never seen any work whatsoever. So. Um, a lot of that historic work focused on 20 square kilometers right at the heart of the project. So we are trying to evaluate what else is there, you know, what the potential is um, beyond the known zones. So I, that's a big component of what we'll be looking to do um, next year. But I think we'll get, we'll get a lot of strong results this year from the known zones. There's great potential to make some discoveries. And I think this season will really be a bit of a catalyst for us. I mean, we're, as I, as I said, you know, we're looking to do 20,000 meters, but the goal for next year would be a much more significant program. Um, wow. And then in late 2022, I think we'd, we'd look to, or early 2023, we'd probably look to put out a maiden resource estimate at that point. Wow. Uh, and then from then on, um, who, know, who knows where that'll take us. But uh, I think uh, we, there's, uh, there's, it's a major catalyst coming for, for this year. Now, we love to identify companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We told you guys we love to bring you winners and we love to bring them to you first. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I think this is a company that everyone should put on their watch list, put it on their radar. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of Thesis Gold, Ewan Webster. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a nice day.